Okay, welcome back to Lechon. I don't know what I've opened up here. Welcome back to Pig. Uh, let me share my screen for you real quick. Seeing, seeing the common, yeah. Okay, we are, yeah, the pig is about to be in action in Charged Stone Cave, where I will not be catching anything. Because for those of you who missed it, this is now just a solo Lechon run. I got nothing else going on but this pig. And boy, it's pig. You know, I kind of like just leaning on the speed up button the whole time. That was fun. Uh, just like using the speed up button the whole time. Yeah. Like content. And the fun thing is I can just, I can not spend any money on um, Pokeballs because I'm not going to be catching anything. And I don't have to spend any money on burn heals because I can't get burned because it's fire type. What is this guy selling? I'm pretty sure. I could be completely wrong about that, actually. Thank you. Uh-huh. Hey, Bianca. You wanna fight? You trying to fight, Bianca? Uh-huh, let's go, Bianca. That's not a toupee. That's- that's a beret. That's a beret, not a toupee. A toupee is fake hair. That's something men wear. You're thinking of, like, a wig or something. He's a fella. He's big. He's a big old boy that is about to... No. Oh, come on, Bianca. We really don't need that right now. Does anything more than two hits? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Can I please hit? To brother! It's not gonna save you. This is not helpful. Can I just hit more than two times? Okay, thank you. This is good. This is great. I forgot about this part. Uh, that's okay, though. Yeah. I'm at the- I'm at the stage where I can kind of tank water attacks. Even if that did work. Ooh, don't like that. Yeah. Oh, Psybeam has done terrible things to my runs in the past. I know, I still don't like it, though. Cool. Moving on. Easy dubs. Look at that thing, it's not even fully evolved. Imagine. Mm -hmm. That was so sad. I do appreciate Bianca's attitude. She's not like, oh, I need to I need to get better and everything. It's just like, oh, I lost. Well, back to the Pokemon Center. I am Boingus and I have no remorse. Only a pig. She also gave me Fly, which I'm fairly confident my giant flaming pig can't learn. So I think I'm gonna be pulling out the old uh, dead HM slave trick. I, yeah, that would... Uh, no, I have one guy. I have Disappoint. Good old Disappoint. Like, I would really think so. It was a little sad. But now we are okay. It's so good. It's so fresh. Literally my first step in the grass and it's an encounter. Okay, what is it? What do we got? This poor little thing. Yeah. Oh, that's true. I had this encounter. I mean, I don't mean encounter as in catching it, because I'm not going to catch it. I mean encounter as in thing to kill. And brother. You little... You little idiot. I hate you. That sounds familiar. It would happen in New Zealand. Did you hear about the um, New Zealand uh, possum problem? So when I was in New Zealand, uh, my tour guide was like, so the possums, right? Uh, they brought them over from like England or something for like some kind of pest control. But the thing about New Zealand is there are no natural predators. Like, the, like, it's an intentional choice of the government to not have any predator animals on the islands. So, these possums exploded in population. And now they're, like, eating through the forest at an alarming rate. And, once again, uh, the, the, a, go a governmental body in that part of the world finds itself facing a type of animal in a war and seriously facing the prospect of losing. Yeah, because furthermore, 
the government had the bright idea to put possum poison in the forests. So then the possum drinks the poison, or eats the poison, and then it gets thirsty. And you know what a thirsty possum does? It drinks. What do you think it drinks? No, not even in New Zealand. It drinks river water. And then it can drink as much as it likes. It's not going to save it. The possum dies. It's, it's poison self just dies right next to the river. Which you can imagine is very popular among the people of New Zealand. Yeah. Uh, the government had has assured the people of New Zealand that the possum poison is only poison to possums and is perfectly safe for humans to eat and ingest. Whether the people of New Zealand believe them is up to the people of New Zealand. Exactly. That would be what it would do, what they would do if New Zealand, if the people of New Zealand had any guts. They would rise up against their government and uh, demand that they eat poison on camera. Specifically possum poison, and specifically in Minecraft. But alas, we live in a society, Rooks. Yeah, exactly. If it's not any poison to humans, then it shouldn't even be in Minecraft. You should do that in real life. Have the courage of your convictions, New Zealand. Anyway, um, another thing about the possums is while we were driving, you know, across the beautiful countryside of New Zealand, it is a beautiful country, it must be said, um, we noticed that there are these, like, collars, like, it's like sheets of metal have been wrapped around the tops of the, uh, power, you know, ele electricity poles. And we're like, oh, tour guide, what are those? And he's like, those are collars to stop the possums from climbing up the poles and dying. And we're like, wait, don't you want the possums to die? And they're like, yeah. Like, it's totally fine by us that the possums die, but it causes a power outage when they do that. Because what it does is it climbs up, it touches the live wires, and then it dies and falls back down. Which is perfect for New Zealand. Not so great for New Zealand's power grid. Because it causes a power outage, because like all the electricity goes into that possum and stops its heart. And if it stops its heart, it also stops the homes of the people of New Zealand. I am not an electrician, I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, I think it's... Yeah, we actually, uh, when we got off of that bus, we actually went and we got possum wool socks. So, okay, we said this is a Lechon solo run. I'm not sure what to do in the case of a double battle. Bye. You know, if I had encountered two Carablasts, I wouldn't even be in this situation. Like like in the last session, if the double battle that we had found had been two Carablasts, we would not be here right now. But that's okay. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. What, the grass is taunting me? Dark grass? Oh, because it's giving me double battles? Okay, we're gonna skate right on past that, actually. We're not even gonna- we're not even gonna address that. We're gonna, like, cut that out of the recording, maybe. Goodness actual gracious. What is it now? This poor little deer. Oh, little deerling. Hmm, it's gonna die. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's the circle of life. Have you- did you see the new Nintendo Direct, actually? It aired, I think, yesterday. Well, there's- I mean, Mario Kart's already a thing, it's already well established, they're just dropping a couple new courses and I think a couple new characters. Nothing crazy. Um, but, speaking of Mario, there is a new 2D Mario coming out, it's called Super Mario Wonder. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, it actually looks good. It's not like the new Super Mario Bros. that all look the same. It's got like a really cool, really, really uh, cool, really pretty art style. And, uh, you go. Yeah, that's called Square Enix. Is it like, uh, cause I'm actually not sure where I'm supposed to be. Oh, talk to the hugger man. Okay, that's fair. Well, off I go again. Is it like sprite animation? 
Yeah, that is uh, probably a game by Square Enix. That art style is called 2.5D, and honestly, you can make it work. Like, it looks really good in Octopath Traveler, for example. I am i don't really know if I like how it looks in the games that they showed in the Direct. Yeah, I don't know if sprites are easier to animate than uh, models, though. I think models are easier. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, working in this industry, um, but... It was my understanding that individual sprites are harder to draw than making one model and then just, like, posing that model for different things. But again, I'm not speaking from experience at all. Uh, so if you do either of those things and I'm completely wrong, my bad. Oh. Okay, I, w I was supposed to talk to the spider web, obviously, naturally. Crocodile. He headbutted the, um... He bulldozed the spiderweb. True, very true. Can Lichon learn bulldoze? Can he learn dig? Because dig's pretty good. Yeah, that is the question. You can't learn dig. I mean, I haven't looked at bulldoze, that was dig. He can learn bulldoze. Now let's see what I could potentially replace him with. Bulldoze is power 60. Rollout is power 30, but it goes over 5 turns and gets stronger every time. And Rock is, I think, just like a more effective type than Ground. Flame Charge boosts speed, and that can be really useful. That is true. But increasing my speed is more is more powerful than decreasing the enemy's speed, because he can switch out and I can't. Yeah, that's true. I do need to keep Rock-type at least until after Skyla. I think it's specifically Skyla, not Skylar. Because Skylar's a, Skylar's a guy's name, I think. Mm. Boldor. Man, if I weren't doing a Lichon solo run, Boldor would be a nice encounter. But oh well. Okay, that's not fun, but I have a rock. Hmm, yes. Let's see what it can do. Yes, it does surprise me. What have I been chosen for? I actually don't remember this plot beat. Mm -hmm. Huh, Sharon is idealistic and Bianca is realistic. That ties in with the themes of truth and ideals in Pokemon Black and White. That's what you would think, but, um, well, I mean, that, that may well have a lot of merit to it, but what N just said is that Sharon is the one who's pursuing the ideal of strength, and Bianca has accepted the truth that not everybody can become stronger. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I mean, it's Pokemon dialogue. There are, there are more important things to read. That's true. Yes, I'm a little over-specialized. This is... This Lichon solo run will probably not win the game. I'm not really expecting to solo the entire game with just a pig. But it's an experiment. It's an experiment to see how far this pig can go. Yes. Oh, it's Professor Juniper. Uh, he probably... I, yeah, I don't know. He climbed. Oh, Lucky Egg gives more experience. I have one Pokémon. 